back guys welcome to another video sis or programmed cell death so what is apoptosis or programmed cell death why we require a cell to die naturally that is the question apoptosis is a process when cell go through itself uh, to kill itself actually so why would cell try to kill itself that is the first question that you should have that why at all in a natural way cell try to kill itself right nobody wants to kill itself but there are some times in cell that it this decision is necessary what are the decision a uh, one kind of situation is very easy that sometimes cell get infected by some kind of foreign uh, bacteria or virus whatever it is it will infect the cell and hijack the machinery of the cell and try to spread through that cell to the nearby cell so if those type of situation arises the cell senses that if it kill itself that that infection should not spread to the next nearby neighboring cell so those situations apoptosis is mandatory because in that case if you want to restrict the infection if we kill that cell which is infected then that infection cannot be spread this is one thing in other cases apoptosis is required for some development of some type of morphological functionalities for example as you looking at my hands you know in our all of our mammal, mammals who have these hands and fingers the development of the finger and if you look at a look at a duck if you look at duck the fingers you can see the joint between middle right so there are there are there are skins that are joined between the middle but in our hand it's not like that so this type of modification if you look uh, back to the human development the human embryological development you will find at the early stage of development we have all the fingers joined at the very beginning of our development now as the time goes by those there are cells that are present in the middle slowly start to die with apoptosis and they will give us this finger which is an immense help for us because you know finger is so much versatile for our case in especially this this different this shape of fingers four in a row and one is completely separate a lot this is this gives us huge advantage so these things are important that's why there are some morphological functionality purpose apoptosis is positive and required and some other cases where in dangerous situations like infections and stuff apoptosis is required so these are the advantages of apoptosis that we go for and actually uh, in some other cases when a cell start to divide a lot like a cancer cell well, let's say due to some small tweaking in the metabolic pathways and also the, the cyclins and CDKs, a cell madly start dividing and the cell divides and divides and produces tumor and that tumor then finally turns into a malignant tumor that can cause cancer, right? So in those cases, we need to kill the cell to stop the spreading of cancer, right? Now in those cases, also cell itself take the machinery to kill. Now, if we add some chemical agents to kill a cell, it's not called apoptosis. Apoptosis is only be called if it is from the internal source of the cell itself, right? So, cell can sense its environment. It can sense what is going on inside and outside. And in that environment, when it reacts to kill itself, that is known as apoptosis. And that is also known as programmed cell death. Because it's kind of natural programming that is present inside the cell uh, to if, if the situation turn wrong, uh, it has to kill itself. So now, once you know this about this is the basic thing of apoptosis. Now let's talk about how this apoptosis takes place and exactly what way it happens. You know, a cell requires a lot of energy to do all the metabolic pathways and all the physiological stuff for us. So it's it's kind of hard and harsh uh, to kill itself in any condition, but the condition is without compromising at those situations. A cell finds itself killing more important than, than continuing some important functionalities. So it's a very tough decision and also a big decision. Now the idea in our, in our whole uh, body, if you look at the cell signaling pathways, there are mainly of two different types. One is a pathway called living cell pathway, another one is a death pathway. Living pathway always helps the cell to grow and divide with all growth factors. Growth factor signalings are the living pathway signalings when, when it will tell the cell to grow and divide right, and mature. While in the other hand, we have this death pathway when the signal arises and it will tell the cell to kill itself instead of growing. Both these pathways are important and it is required when to apply what. 
right so if you need to have in specific condition we need to apply the growth pathway in specific condition we need to apply the death pathway now here for the apoptosis what happens let's take a simple example let's say a, a cell is infected with virus it no longer can cope up with it and it knows that if this cell is infected this virus will kill the cell and go to the next cell and then from that cell to the neighboring cell so you want to prevent that to prevent that there is only one way to kill itself if it kill itself the virus will not get any host to survive and the virus will also uh, inactivated right so in those situations apoptosis is really really handy so how would cell kill itself there is a cell signaling machinery going on inside to kill uh, to tell uh, all the machinery inside the cell to start the action and there are two different ways to do that one is called an intrinsic pathway another one is called as the extrinsic pathway so extrinsic pathway and intrinsic pathway okay extrinsic pathway means the origination of the pathway is from outside of that cell the cell which is killing itself the pathway originates somewhere outside of that that means some sort of signaling molecule will come and attached to the receptor then the signaling will go on while the intrinsic pathway means the origination of the pathway is that apoptotic cell itself okay it, it, it starts from inside of the cell so these are the two ways it's possible so how how those things actually work once this thing i am going to the signaling in very briefly in this video but in the next videos i'll be talking independently about the extrinsic pathway in details as well as the intrinsic pathway in details so if you want to know them you also see the next videos i'm going to talk about them in separately but here i'm going to give you an overview now how the cell died in the apoptosis they start this signaling processes once the signaling processes start they will also activate certain types of proteins what kind of proteins ultimately the both of them leads to the same type of thing activation of a protein called caspase 3 this is a protein it's a death protein okay whenever you see a lot of caspase 3 inside a cell the cell is preparing to killing itself so this protein when it's activated then it will further activate some proteases it will activate nucleases nucleus means enzyme which will break down nucleic acid dna or rna proteases are the enzyme which will break down proteins inside the cell so now if you imagine if nucleases cleave all the dna and rna inside the cell protease cleaves all the proteins inside the cell so how could a cell survive it can't survive so this proteases will start breaking down actin filaments breaking down microtubules so what will happen it will disintegrate the cell it will disintegrate the structure okay so the cell become disintegrated it kind of once it get disintegrated and it start as as all those lamines are cleaved all those actin filaments are cleaved those so the cytoskeletons are getting cleaved so the structure of the cell is distorted and it start forming what we called blebs they are called as apoptotic blebs so blebs means if you if you see the start of the cell normal cell now they start forming this bulges like this and then slowly they, they are just separated like small bulge they are called blebs so once these blebs are produced while all the nucleic acids say they are also broken down inside so this cell cannot produce any more protein or cannot function so in those conditions once they produce these blebs then there are cells which will engulf this debris so that they will not damage it because ultimately all those things those those lipids proteins fats um, uh, nucleic acids whatever it presents there that needs to be taken away from the situation from the place so there are cells to engulf them we call them endocytic cells or phagocytic cells right and the example of such is macrophage macrophage is one type of cell which will go and engulf those 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 little vesicles and blebs and once they engulf that it will clean the place right so finally we have this phagocytosis so this is the overview this is the effect of this killing procaspase i mean once caspase 3 is made proteases nucleases is active killing the cell and that's how the cells are cleaved so if you look at uh, the apoptotic pathway and took a section of the cells and if you start looking at them under microscope 
you will find this you'll find this image exactly the cell is there and then small bulges are start to forming out uh, nucleic acids are broken down and spread it through that and then macrophage is engulfing it so that's how the whole thing works now based on the pathway intrinsic and extrinsic in the extrinsic pathway the signal comes from outside in the intrinsic pathway signal starts inside that cell so let's say this is the cell which is going through the apoptoti apoptosis the cell has a receptor the receptor has a specific section called death domain dd and the receptors are for different molecules in this case most of the time they are for molecule fas fas ligand right so ligand will come and bind to the receptor i am not going to the details but the overview that will activate the death domain here which will finally activate a complex called disc death domain induced complex i i forgot the full name of the disc but this is a death domain induced complex to kill the cell and once disc is activated then this disc will further activate caspase 8 this is another protein once caspase 8 is active it is going to activate caspase 3 now all this thing is going on inside the cell it's not obviously caspase 3 is not outside the cell it's inside the cell so caspase 8 then caspase 3 and then the whole process will take place just like i told you on the other hand the intrinsic pathway it generates from inside so in the intrinsic pathway if i draw the cell let's say this is the cell we not need to need to end or go for program cell death in that case this pathway originates in the mitochondria okay mitochondria now what will happen any source of stress and tension if it receives from outside let's dna damage a lot of mutation irreparable mutation or let's say endoplasmic reticulum stress cell can sense that so so most of the time the intrinsic pathways take place when the cell senses something wrong inside from inside the cell but in the extrinsic one if a virus infects or stuff or any sorts of mutations going on from outer side then it is activated or let's say a cell is going on a rapid cell division it needs to stop the cell division or there is any any problem during the during the checkpoints of the cell cycle then p53 activates it and then this whole set of thing occurs like the extrinsic pathway but for the intrinsic there should be some sort of damage and stuff going on inside the cell and let's say that stress or damage let's say the er damage that er damage we finally go and activate certain th thing and, and ultimately i'm not going to talk about again details but ultimately cytochrome c is a molecule it comes out from the mitochondria it is actually present in the matrix of mitochondria where it comes out once the cytochrome c is now in the cytosol that cytochrome c pairs with another molecule called apaf1 another protein apaf1 and they together they bring with caspase 9 and we call it as a apoptosome or apoptotic complex apoptosome so ultimately they will form apoptosome once this apoptosome is formed then this apoptosome will activate pro caspase 3 and then finally the rest of the events so you see ultimately the events come from caspase 3 but here in the apoptosome formation for the intrinsic pathway and the extrinsic pathway formation of disc this is the way of how ultimately caspase 3 is active and they will mediate rest of the stuff induce proteases nucleases will cleave the dna proteins rna and the cell will finally uh, will die okay so this is the overview or big picture of apoptosis or programmed cell death i hope you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscription button that came here as well as on the top as well as in the bottom here right so that's for it guys thank you